I bet you've been wondering which weapon is the best and which one's the worst. Yes, please! I seriously will murder you, Bob! Oh, wait, what? Um, uh, okay, well, never mind then. Listen in! Finally, the best of the best, a good weapon tier is here. Oh, and as a little bonus, the weapon that both me and you, the audience, have considered as the de facto best. Weapon 2. Like a goth gal with a fun personality, or shash liquid costs on the side, or a federal and alliance mutual suicide pact. You know, all the best things. Anyways, all the weapons in this list are without a doubt recommended for general or niche use. So then, without a further ado, let's go from the worst to the best this time. Pulse laser. Now, if the beam laser was the best of the OK tier, then this is where it had to be the pulse to be called good. And unfortunately for beams, when faced with the versatility and use, though having a healing effect option, beams just could not compete with the efficiency of the pulse laser. In fact, the pulses are so efficient that they border on non-energy weapon territory. So if you are determined to have all thermal weapon build, pulses are a safe bet for safe use. Frankly, if you put two of these on a vulture with phasing sequence effect, though not right away, but eventually even a shield heavy cutter will fall to it, unless it uses turrets. Um, in any case, you can consider Pulse Laser as a steady backbone of any bounty hunting or anti-shield build. And then we have Burst Laser. Okay, so while pulses are the most energy efficient weapons, Burst Lasers are the most DPS efficient weapons, as in for each energy unit in Power Distributor, Bursts will deal the most damage. Also, it's the best gimbal laser weapon to use too, due to rapid burst shot that will make sure that at least one of the shots hit the target with the jitter from gimbals. Hmm, actually, you can think of pulses as your little runabout car you can use for work and family and whatnot else, but bursts are the sweet, sweet Skyline R34 in your garage for when you want to really burn the rubber. Then next we have Advanced Plasmas. Yes, one of the power play weapons managed to actually be good, though mostly being a variant of a really good weapon already. Still, due to the faster fire rate and overall DPS, makes it a formidable entry for the main guns. I've especially seen some fun ways people have used this weapon in Vultures and Federal Ashships. And finally, the pinnacle of the good weapon tier, the original Plasma Accelerators. Yet, due to the lack of gimbal version, loses the best weapon title. Overall, the weapon is very skill-dependent, but devastating with good engineering. An outstanding all-rounder that I actually use as the only weapons on my pleasure python. I mean, laser time sna- I mean, python. Yes, the, the ship that I use for a fun NPC killing. All five hardpoints full of plasmas may seem like a stupid idea when you have to deal with thermal and kinetic damage resistances, but that's the beauty of the weapon, unlike with railguns that reportedly have 66 to 33% split favoring thermal to kinetic damage, plasma must have 20-20 split for thermal and kinetic, and the rest of the 60% are absolute damage. And that's the only weapon in the game that has that absolute damage type. Well, if we don't count the plasma chargers. Not that the game would tell us that information. Thanks, devs! Anyways, with my python and all five plasmas, it's so gratifying to just hit all of those shots on one target and see the shields bursting and hull taking damage on top of that. Also, my throbbing python will pretty much vaporize any small ship with this setup, so that makes shooting and connecting my load all the more worth it. Frankly, I used to be in the camp burst laser, but after coming out of the NPC killing safe zone, the PA builds showed me what could be really possible. Too bad I aim like a drunk who snorted a kilo of cocaine. Oh well, it is time to get good. And so, in the very end, we come to the best of the best, the weapon that makes every pilot suit moist and unusable. That weapon that a notable majority of you consider to be unbeatable. So let's beat our collective meats together. H hands, y yes, put your hands together for the multi-cannon. It is the most customizable and efficient weapon in the game. With engineering, you can get all the DACA, additional thermal damage, projectile speed, penetration. Oh, and did I mention more DACA? It has all the DACA. Indeed, multicannons, due to their minuscule power draw, both from plant and distributor, allows you to switch pips to other parts of the ship while still offering decent, if not good, amount of damage, both in range and close up. A quintessential aircraft and spacecraft combat weapon that, in its simplicity, just cannot be beaten. 
At this point in my poll that I made about these weapons, multi-cannon was a clear winner by a long shot, second was a beam laser, and third was railgun. And it's no surprise, see, the combination of beams and multi-cannons cover each other's weak points. So for multi-cannons it's obviously the lack of thermal damage, and for beams it's the kinetic damage as well as the power draw. So it's obvious that a lot of people run multi-cannon beam setups, which is quite clearly reflected in the poll. And railguns? Well, it's the best support weapon for skilled players, so it's no wonder it's there too. Frankly, plasmas come very close to beating multis, but the versatility and gimbal modes is what edge out multicannons as the best. Sure, it's also quite common to see plasma accelerator and rail builds, but it's only when you can aim right, and not like someone who just took a bottle of brandy straight as an IV drip. So I guess the ease of use is what makes multicannons quite appealing. So then that's the full list, let me know what you think down below. Would you change any weapons place? in the series or was there something I missed? Regardless, do share the video and the series as well. But as for now, well, guess you can take a look at the OK weapon tier list. Or if you're a sadist, check out the stillborn fuel dumpster fire tier. I guarantee it's quite useless. So you can learn what to avoid and why.